What's up guys, it's Caitlin B and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about my staples for the fall season. There have been so many fun trends lately and I wanted to show you guys what I've been loving incorporating into my own wardrobe and that I think you guys are going to also love. They're really great transition pieces, so whether it's really cold where you are or whether it's still like 90 degrees, you can style them in different ways to wear them depending on what the weather is like, which is great because I love being able to wear my clothes all season long and all year long. I am partnering with Nasty Gal in this video, so all of the clothing items I'm about to show you guys are all from Nasty Gal, which is so incredibly exciting because if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I have been wearing Nasty Gal since like, 2012, 2011. They have an awesome selection for the fall time. I also wanted to throw in a little giveaway at the end of just some other favorites that I've been loving. So it's not really related to the clothing, but I wanted to give back to you guys because you guys have been so incredible and I haven't done a giveaway on my channel for a while. So if you guys are interested, stay tuned. I've got some beauty products at the end that I want to give away to a lucky, lovely viewer. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit that button right below and let's get on into it. The first item I have been absolutely loving is the cropped sweater. Sweater. Now this is nothing new. This has been around for years and years, but I love how this trend has evolved over the seasons and this one is my particular favorite. I have been wearing this so much lately. I'm sure you guys have seen this all over my Instagram, but instead of just a normal crop sweater, it actually has this piece attached on the back. And a lot of people were wondering when I wore this and posted this picture, how this was possible. It was kind of like an illusion because it doesn't look like this piece of fabric is connected at the bottom because it is connected in the back. But I just love this extra detail. It's so cute and I feel a little bit more layered in the fall time when it gets a little bit chillier out. I mean, depending on where you live, of course, but it's a great way to transition that summer style of the crop top or crop sweater at nighttime and just make it a little bit more appropriate for the fall time when it gets a little bit chillier outside because it does have that extra layer at the bottom. You're a little bit more covered up, which is great. I personally like to style it just with my high-waisted denim. While it's a really simple outfit, I just love the detailing on the side here. I thought that was so interesting and different. I haven't really seen that on many tops, just having like one sleeve have kind of a detail on it. So super, super cute. And it is like a ribbed knit sweater kind of material. So I think it's amazing for the fall time and definitely worth checking out. The next top I have is something you've probably seen all over Instagram. I've seen so many people style very similar tops. I love this style. I think it's the cutest thing ever and that is styling an oversized striped top. This is the one that I got also from Nasty Gal and I got it in a size medium. Now keep in mind this top is already gonna be oversized so if you just want it to be a little bit oversized, feel free to get your normal size. I decided to get a size up because I definitely wanted to make sure it was really oversized but you totally don't have to do that. You could wear buttoned up just like a normal top. I mean it kind of looks like you could wear this to work. How I've been loving wearing it is to wear it a little bit off the shoulder. You just have to unbutton it a little bit and then pull the top down a little bit so that your shoulder shoulders are exposed. If you do work during the days, you could totally wear this to work. And then at nighttime, just switch up your bra and wear it a little bit off the shoulder. You could style this with jeans. I also love styling it with a skirt and also some over the knee boots. I think that'd be such a cute look. Jackets are of course essential to the colder weather and they are some of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe. I love wearing jackets no matter what time of year it is. I always throw on a jacket at nighttime and it's such an easy accessory to just throw on any outfit that you have and instantly looks so much more put together. This next piece kind of incorporates two things that I've been loving this season, and that is the studded embellishments and also the velvet trend. So as you may guess, this is a studded velvet jacket, and this is actually a crop jacket. I'm not sure if this is navy or black. I change my mind pretty much every single day, but regardless, I've been wearing this a ton lately. I love the studs on this. How beautiful is the back of this? Studded jackets are definitely an investment piece, but I personally believe that investing in jackets is such a smart idea because you can wear them for years to come and also no matter what the weather is. My next staple is the classic ribbed turtleneck sweater. Now this is something that's been around for a while. This is nothing new by any means. And I love that because that means that I can wear this for years to come and so can you. This one is a thin style. I also have ones that are a little bit more thicker and like full on sweaters that I can just wear alone. But I particularly love the thin rib sweater because it is so perfect for layering, especially when it's cold outside. I feel like a lot of people are turned off by turtleneck sweaters and I don't know why. I I honestly think they're so freaking cute. They look all cozy and you can layer a cardigan and also a jacket on top. You can also wear this 
with a trench coat, which I'm gonna show you guys next. My next favorite is a trench coat, and I love that this has also been around for honestly so many years. I wore trench coats in high school, going to class, and I also wore them in college, and I still wear them now whenever I go home and it's actually cold outside. Nasty Gal has some adorable coats this season, so I picked up this one. It also has this waist belt, so you can definitely give yourself some shape. I thought the zipper detailing made it a little bit more edgy than regular trench coats that I've seen, which I personally like. It is thin, but it's still really warm, especially if you're gonna be layering sweaters underneath it, which most likely you are if you're gonna be wearing a trench coat out in the fall. But even instances where I was going somewhere a little bit more formal, so I'd be wearing a dress and it was still cold outside, so I would just throw on a trench coat like this and that way I was just able to keep myself warm until I got inside. My next piece is the oversized crop sweater. I know it kind of sounds counterproductive, like an oversized crop sweater. What are you talking about? But honestly, they're awesome. This is more of like a chunkier sweater. This is honestly so freaking soft. I've worn this so many times already. I know it's a little bit too hot for that, but at nighttime, totally appropriate. This is already an oversized crop, but I did get this in the size up. So you can either get this an extra small, small or a medium large. So I got this in a medium large. I just always like my crop sweaters and just sweaters in general to be just on the bigger side, even if they are supposed to be cropped or are already oversized. I don't know. Is that just me? If you're looking for a super soft, cozy top that honestly feels like a blanket, um, you have to get your hands on this because this literally feels like I'm wrapped up in the softest blanket ever. The bottom of this is also so cute. A little zigzag edge. I don't know about you guys, but I have been loving pairing these cropped sweater with a skirt. Something that you can easily pull off when it's chilly, but not super cold. You know, when the weather's bipolar and you don't exactly know what to wear. I love feeling like cozy and comfortable, but also just throwing on that skirt makes it look a little bit more trendy. And if it is on the chillier side, throw on some over the knee boots, you're good to go. And my last staple is the cropped moto jacket. I've loved moto jackets for years and years years now, but I've never owned a jacket or moto jacket that's been a fall color. I always go for black, but every time I see someone in a jacket this color, I always got so jealous because I thought it was so cute and I loved how well it paired with black outfits. So it just made sense. I believe this is a crop style as well. So if you want it to be a little bit bigger or layered, definitely go a size up or two. This is also a vegan leather, so cruelty free. I just think everybody needs a fall jacket in their life and like how perfect is this? So those are all my fall staples. Again, they're all from Nasty Gal. So I will list all the items that I just showed you guys from Nasty Gal down in the description box below if you guys wanna check them out. Now I wanna get on to the giveaway because I haven't done a giveaway on my channel in what feels like forever. And I love giving back to you guys because you are amazing. So I thought I would give away some of my favorite beauty products lately. And I'm gonna show you guys what they are first and then I will get on how to enter. The first product is the Origins Original Skin Matte Moisturizer with Willow Herb. You guys may recognize this from my fall get ready with me video. I will put that in the info bar above if you want to check that out. You guys, this stuff smells amazing and it leaves my skin so smooth. I can use it as a primer and a moisturizer. Next, I wanted to give away a perfume because for me, scents just make me feel so much better and there's just something about scents that just like boost your mood. So I wanted to give away the Bath & Body Works Warm Vanilla Sugar. I don't know, it's so calming and it just reminds me of the fall and winter time because it is just like a cozy scent. If you guys are interested, it has vanilla, white orchid, and sparkling sugar warmed with notes of fresh jasmine and creamy sandalwood. I thought this would help you guys out a lot because this is something that I personally need to do more often. So I feel like you guys may be in the same boat, but that is a brush cleaning glove. So if you guys are unfamiliar, Sigma Beauty makes the best cleaning gloves. I don't know if anyone else makes anything like this. I have some friends that have never washed their makeup brushes and they've had them for years. You guys, you guys have never seen this before. You just put your brush cleanser on top of it. You can use a shampoo. I'm actually giving away their brush cleaner as well, but you just put it on there and then just scrub your brushes under the water. It makes it really easy and like not feel like a task. Brushes just hold so much bacteria and are probably breaking you out and you don't even realize it. So helping us to out. So I'm also giving away their Sig Magic. This is their brush shampoo. This is just like a little baby one. The last thing from Sigma Beauty I wanted to give away is one of their brushes. This is the F64 Soft Blend Concealer Brush. It's not just perfect for blending your concealer. I just like using smaller brushes like this to put on my highlighter because I feel like it's a little bit more 
precise. You could even use this to blend your foundation in the harder to reach areas, such as like around your nose or in your inner corner. So there's so many ways you can use this brush, not just to blend concealer. And finally, I wanted to throw in a little bath bomb. This one is the Scent Irresistible Berry. I've never used this one before. But it smells so good, you guys. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna be giving away all of those prizes to one lucky viewer. All you have to do is first like this video, make sure you are subscribed to my channel, and also make sure you're following me on my Instagram at Caitlin B. Then go ahead and leave me a comment down below, whatever you want, but make sure you include your Instagram handle because that's how I'm going to be contacting the winner. So this is the date that the giveaway is going to end. It is exactly one week from today. So feel free to enter until then. You can comment as many times as you want. Just make sure you include your Instagram handle every single time or else I will not be able to find you. This giveaway is also open internationally. So wherever you are, I will send you these goodies. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found some new fall staples or just ways to style clothes that you already have. Other than that, I hope you guys have a fabulous day and I will see you in my next one.